So Venkat Aswin is having a problem on the supplier creation. So I'm going to have a look at it now. Fine. So let us have a look at it. <coughs> so this is the area of his supplier area. So what is the supplier area? 11 bit status st studios or what exactly is? Uh, uh, usually the supplier name starts with Z01. 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 Here, I don't find any Z01 at all because I cannot. What about they make a query? Yeah, query is possible, query is not possible at all. Z01 is not available. So let us know. You can, you can check with the supply registration. Yeah, supply registration. So click on it. I don't know what the manage suppliers. <clears throat> so Z01 is not having any incomplete setup. So it is not there in the incomplete setup sector. <clears throat> and it's not there. So let us now go there and then uh, click on that manage supply. Sometimes all of these instances uh, is slow actually. And sometimes it is slow, sometimes it is fast. So we have to live with it. That's not my note. <laughs> right. We have to make a habit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the manage suppliers. Thank you for the manage suppliers. Huh. Manage supplier restriction. Uh, no, this is the place where we are going to search for the supply. Manage supplier is the place where we are going to search for it. <laughs> uh, which is the one which is having a problem. Now. Fine. There is one reliance is there, sub one is there, they are all through. Fine. So your ABC, Adani, or Infosys, or which one is now giving a problem? Everyone. See, when I'm creating a purchase order, that uh, the okay. supplier said... Know, is the ABC, uh, AB, uh, no, fine. this one, know, because there's an I icon there. If you click on the I icon, it says what? Your spent authorization request was rejected by the supplier actor. So it means what? It is rejected actor. Fine. So if it is rejected, then what happens? We have to go on the check up the approvals. So fine, right click and then duplicate. <coughs> So, a spent authorization request is now rejected actually. You are now, you created a supplier via what actually? I tried both, uh, create supplier and uh, supply registration. Both the ways I tried. Okay. Both the ways it is getting no, approved. No, no. uh, now, see the simple create supplier. Now, what is the setup and maintenance? And then there are two approvals which has to be automatic actually. Now, go on and make it. <clears throat> two approvals are to be made. So, click on it. So, click on search. So yet manage supplier approvals, right? manage percentage, sub percentage, APP percentage, manage supplier approvals. There are two approvals which has to be made out. One is what? Internal supplier profile change approvals, and then internal supplier registration approvals. Let us not check on this one, right? So click on the internal. These are the two things which are rep responsible for supplier approvals. <clears throat> so internal supplier registration approvals, I'm going to go and have a look at it. Okay. Well, now this is enabled, I'm going to it. I will click on the edit rules. I don't know how to look at my tools. And then here, this is the one which has been enabled. Now, go we'll now go and have a look at it. So here, it is automatic only. And the remaining are not enabled, actually. It's okay. Fine. So this is okay. This is automatic. So internal supply registration approval is automatic. Go cancel. So whenever you're coming out, don't save and close, but cancel and then come. Fine. Click on that. Okay. And then internal supply registration approval. Now, we will now go for the profile change approvals. Fine. Click on the internal supply profile change approvals. Okay. So this is the only thing which has to be checked. Fine. Click on it. I will not go to the edit rules and then make a check. I will not go on the have So there is only one rule. This is automatic one. Fine. That's okay. Fine. So this is all perfectly set. There is no problem at all. Fine. Okay. So we will not try to create a supplier and then see. Fine. So in this place, whatever, let me create a supplier and then see. Fine. Fine. I will not make a supplier. So click on it. I will not make a new supplier. I go to the create supplier. Fine. I will not create a, create a supplier. Fine. Create supplier and go to create. Well, no, say, can you create with my credentials? Z01 sub Anything is okay, fine. I will not say A01 underscore sub underscore one. Fine. Any easy supplier name is okay, fine. Go there. I will not make it as what? Spread operation. <clears throat> so go there. So this is not exactly coming. You give a tab and then it will accept. Fine. So I will not make it as a corporation. Fine. These are three things. Fine. Click on create. A01 sub underscore one. A01 underscore sub underscore one. I am now creating it. So try different means. Whenever you're getting struck now, fine. You have to mm -hmm. think lately and then decide fine, where exactly the problem can be now. So I'm not creating a supplier. Mm -hmm. So once when you create a supplier, you now go to the next page. Go to this place. And then here, I will now go to the payments and then make one of the payment type as automatic. Mm -hmm. So whatever it is, fine, doesn't matter. Because we are not going to make a real payment. And so everything is okay. fine. One of the payment. Mm -hmm. So keep us same now. Fine, keep on saying. So the profile is now completed. I will not go to the address. I will not go to the address. And then click on plus. I am going to get the address. Let me get an address. Go there. So I will now say uh, address name is what? A01 underscore address underscore name 
underscore one now. And the country is United States. United States is the country. Right, let me change it now. Right? Go there. So add this line one. Okay. Now go there. Before which, Rabbi, we'll put the postal code over here. Now find one zero zero two zero and then give it a tap. Then I'm putting the postal code. Okay. Hold on. And click on OK. You know that. And then afterwards, I'll now fill up the address line. Okay. A zero one. Find address line one. Find everywhere. Well, the prefix be there now. Fine. I'm not enabling it for ordering address too. <clears throat> ordering address is enabled. But email is what? A01 underscore sub one at the rate gmail.com. If you have a real email, give only one email at one place only. Fine. Guys. So give one save and close by which the address is now created. Now I'm going to submit popular. At this stage, I'm going to submit popular. So it's not enough. Let me submit popular. A01 sub one is now going to be submitted popular. Thank you, Master. So if you submit for approval, it has to be getting approved automatically. Actually, I must be for approval at this stage. So after this one, fine. Internal profile change request has been done. Fine. Our profile change request is already automatic already. So go there. So it is not triggering the internal supplier approval, but internal profile change approval it is not triggering. <laughs> Got it now? <laughs> <coughs> the request number is nine zero zero four zero. Remember? <laughs> okay, fine. Nine zero zero four zero. If you go on and see, it will tell you where exactly it is gone. Fine. Okay. okay. And then click on refresh now. Find refresh, and then it will be coming on the incomplete setup. It will be coming on the incomplete setup. And go down. You can now see the incomplete setup. Select it. Nine zero zero four zero will be available in the bottom. And select it, and then go down. Right. So it is on. Let us go down, and then have a look at it. And go down. And then nine zero zero four zero will be available. So this is the one. Select it, and then go there. So click on the hyperlink of it. It is also showing which supplier is now. Right. Hyperlink of it. So click on the hyperlink of it. It will now go to the next next stage. You know, it says submit and then approve is also done. Mm -hmm. Had it been going to somebody else, it will also mention the name of the person to whom it has gone. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Now it so is also to show you. Yeah, it is now submitted as well as approved also. So no mm -hmm. problem at all. If you go and then query, you the IE icon will not be there on my supplier at all. Mm -hmm. go there and then have a look at it. So click on refresh. I will now go to the manage suppliers. Click on it. Mm -hmm. I will now go to the manage suppliers. What are the managed suppliers? And then query me A01. Let me query the A01. A01. <laughs> and then click on search. So click on search. I'm searching for it. And then there is no IE icon at all. Remember? Otherwise, an IE icon will say that it is not pending an approval actually. Mm -hmm. So now it is a, a submitted and then approved. There will not be any problem at all. Fine. Click on the hyperlink of it. So click on the hyperlink of it. It will now go to the next page. And then what happens? You go to the what about contacts. Not sites. After profile and address, the next activity is to contacts now. Fine. So mm -hmm. to create a contact, what happens? I had to be in edit mode. Fine, click on edit mode. I will mm -hmm. not make it edit mode. In the edit mode, fine, click on first. Only on edit mode, we can create the contact. So the first activity to check on the contact is what? Whether the address is approved or not, we are going to make it. Go down, fine. Actions, and then go to select and add. We'll now see if the address is approved, it'll be coming. Yes, it's coming. Fine, select it, and then click on apply, and then click on OK. It is not done. <laughs> OK, fine. Then at first, we'll now say, I will now put my name now. <clears throat> Ananta one, <laughs> Nana one. Okay. So I will now put again an address fine. Right? Ananta one dot Nana one. Whenever the system is going to create a username, it will be creating on Ananta space one dot Nana space one. First name dot last name. Mm -hmm. That way it will not do. Not by this email actually. Not okay. by this email. So the system will be creating what? A username by email. Now first name dot last name. Right? So I will now create a user account. So once when you enable the user account, the system will be adding some six or seven automatic roles to it. They are for mm -hmm. supplier portal actually. So it's not done. Okay? So everything has been done. And give a save and close. So save and close. It is not done. So it is not done. Okay? So save and close is not done. And then afterwards, we will now go to site and then create a site. Okay. So this user's roles are not sufficient for a VMI that we have seen now. I will also go on and show it. Okay? Mm -hmm. I will not go to the site now. Okay? I will not go to the site. Let me go on and create a site. And click on first now. And go to the site. Mm -hmm. So once when you do everything systematically, it will all work now. Right? There will not be any problem at all. Drop down the address and choose it. And then I will not change the site name now. Right? So the address name becomes the site name. So I will not change it to what? Site 1. Site 1 is the one. Is, is okay. Purchasing and pay is okay. Fine. Once when you give a save, the remaining tab regions will be enabled. Fine. Click on save. The remaining tab regions is enabled. <clears throat> it's all done. Now. Fine. So now you go to the purchasing. Purchasing. It's okay. You are not going to do anything at all. Fine. We have already demonstrated everything. So the pay on receipt as well as the pay on use, everything has been demonstrated. Now we are not touching it actually. I go to the invoicing area and then say in which way we are going to invoice the supplier. Okay? I will now say the invoice currency is US dollars. And then the payment currency is US dollars. And then you go to the site assignment is very important. 
this is equivalent to multi org access control of ebus i have not clicked on auto create assignments automatically it will not create all the assignments now what happens is us1 uk everything is coming fine so is a us1 so uh, i am now working on the uh, this one now fine i will now remove the uk i don't want the uk so it is not assigned to us1 business unit so because uh, since i am not logged in with this command i will now put the ship location as what seattle seattle is the one so us1 business unit because i am in vision actually so this is coming the build location is also seattle so seattle is the one the remaining will be done with the payable steam so the multi org access control having an access in the site assignments has been done now right you can say it plus it's all done now. and then finally we have to submit again so once when every activity is completed so go that click on it and then submit again to what happens make the supplier active thank you there is a submit button thank you and then uh, we are not done the file, profile addresses contacts inside the qualification will be coming to the bit once when you do the qualification will be coming. so the registration process don't go for it it will be conducted later fine when mm -hmm. we are going for a supplier qualification model fine other time or other will be seeing the registration fine registration don't touch it now thank you so done okay. so go there it is not done now we will now go to what reset the password for the supplier actually we will not reset the password i will not go to the home icon and then we will now reset the password for the supplier i'll not go to the tools now i'll not go to the tools i'll not go to the tools so go to the tools and then i go to what security console fine so what is the username tell me What is the username? Remembering it, I told you. Z zero one. No, no, no. Uh -huh. I am not doing on A zero one everything. Uh, Ananta Nana. Yeah, correct. Ananta space one dot Nana space one. Fine, that will be the username. First name dot last name will be the username. So go to the username. Fine, go there. It is Ananta. Fine, space one. And then I am going to put it. Ananta space one Nana space one will be the username actually. It is the first name dot last name. Fine. So click on the hyperlink of it, and then I am now going to reset the password now. I'm going to use the password. Now we cannot use the supplier for VMI activities actually. We cannot use the supplier for VMI activities. For which what happens? One more role is also required. Thank you for the reset password. I'm going to the reset password. Manually resetting it. So go there. I will now say welcome on the three. Go there. So it's welcome on the three. Init caps. I'm clicking on the reset password. So let this page be as such, and then let me or I'm as a login as a supplier, and then I will now show you why VMI cannot be done because VMI needs one more role actually, and two more roles actually. Out of which the two roles are required for VMI. Out of which they have already added one role. So let us now go on and see his login. I will now go the take of it. I will now put it on what on a on a what's called Opera browser. Opera browser. I will now go that. So let me go on and put on Opera browser. Enter it now. No more that. So go that. It is Ananta space one dot Nana space one. Now I have written in small. There I have written capital. Will it work or not? Will be. Tell me. I have given there as the yeah, Ananta as capital E. Capital E. My here it now given small E. Will it work or not? I am telling. I am asking. It will work. Sir. It will work because uh, user names are case insensitive. Actually. User names are case insensitive. And so it will work. I give an Ananta capital A and then Nana capital A. Fine here, I am not putting everything in small. Doesn't matter. User names are case insensitive actually. Fine, you know, go inside. And if you go there, he will not have the access to what I mean, sir, VMI activity. He will not have an access to VMI activity. So it's not getting saved now. So we will not make him access the VMI also. So you might not even test it that now. Fine, brother. So it's a small one. <laughs> so it will not ask you to save the password. I will not wait for it to save now. So that message is not coming. Fine, brother. So I will not open up the VMA now. Fine, brother. VMA document I will not open up. I will not open up. I will not go to what? J Kora. I will not open up my. Uh, uh, what is it? Not this one. I will not go to J Kora. I will not open up my Oracle Fusion ACM training. Fine, brother. I will not go to the Fusion procurement documentation. And then there I will not query for the VMA document. VMA document. Are you going to come and say? अधिका कौन जैसा उठ गया? So B M A replication time लगा, तो कहीं लगा। So बोल रहे थे कहाँ? इधर लगा। So here we need what supplier demand planner as well as supplier inventory manager. And these two roles are required. Normally what happens is the demand planner may be there now. Long on the how to get the one. So the one now. Now go on the how to get. Whether he has the demand planner or not. Not this one. So what is this? Supplier demand planner is already there. But what happens? You are not having what the supplier. Uh, This one not fine. <clears throat> inventory manager is not there. So since it is not there, if you go there and then click on it, click on the home icon, 
So since inventory manager is not there, so if we go on and click on the one, I will go to the supply portal. Go to the supply portal. So when I go to the supply portal, you won't find. I will not see. Not find. Click on see. I will not go to the supply portal. I click on the supply portal. Go to the supply portal, and then you will not find the inventory activity section. So in the supply portal, you can now see uh, supply plan, orders, agreements, channels, uh, doc programs, everything is coming, but not the inventory. Mm -hmm. So we'll now go there and then we'll now add mm -hmm. product product. We'll now go to this place. So we are going to add the inventory manager. Now if I click on edit uh, and then click on what? Add. If I click on add role. So I'm going to add the role now. So now see what is the role now? And role is what? Supplier inventory manager. The supplier inventory manager. <clears throat> supplier INV. INV. Keep on writing it. Fine. Supplier inventory manager. So this is the role which is required for doing a VMA activity. So go to the add roles. I'm not adding it. So it's not done. Thank you. So supplier inventory manager is now added. So it'll be somewhere is it there now. So click on save and close. And then always run what whenever you make any changes on the security console, run the import user role. Find that is the best one. So that whatever you're setting it up on the, on the security console, it will be getting what happens. Uh, uh, it will now be communicated to the transaction system. It will be synced with the transaction system. So click on the home icon. And then have a habit of running the import user role. <clears throat> so click on the home icon. Oh my God. And then there, I go to the tools and then I go to what? <clears throat> uh, you are scheduled to process and scheduled process and then run the import user role. Any new changes on the security console, run the import user role so that whatever you have set up on that place, that will be synced into the transaction system factor. Okay. So import user role is the one function. Okay, now fine. So we are running it. So that will be syncing the setup. Fine. But this is syncing is totally automatic. Uh, it will not take some time actually. It will not take some time. So because of which what I was it, not, it, will, uh, it may not be visible immediately also. Fine. So if the syncing is already done, what happens? You can now see the uh, what happens? The inventory details coming up on your supply portal login. Ready again. So it's not running. So running, running, running. <clears throat> so if you are again struck, talk to me straight away. Now, fine. Stop putting a message because what happens? I may not be before the machine actually. So talk to me, sure. and uh, you will not try to find out. Okay, it's not done. Yeah. Now go to this place. I will not log out and log in. Fine. Here in this case, the inventory has to come. Fine. We added the supplier inventory manager as well as supplier demand planner is already there. Fine. Click on sign out. Sign out. <laughs> so this is required for VMI. Click on confirm. Now. And then we'll again log in. So that is half halfway through. And it doesn't matter if you sign in and see whether it has got synced or not. I'm not logging in into UD Dev18 now. This instance is going to work for a long time. So try to complete every practices as soon as possible. Now. So, that, sure. so now you can see sure. better managed inventory has come. Got it now, right? So this is basically provided by the supplier demand planner role as well as you are called your supplier inventory value. And then on the base system, you must have these things. Right? Supply, sorry, supply chain planner, supply chain collaboration planner, supply chain application. If you have provided these roles, what will happen is that in this place, if you go to the home icon, if you have provided those roles, you will be getting a supply collaboration icon on the supply planning. If you go to the supply planning, right? go to the supply planning. In the supply planning, supply chain planning, if you go there, you will not get what? Supply collaboration icon. Right? If these roles are given. If you're giving this post. Fine. But if you're working on vision, no need to give any role because everything is inbuilt actually. Since I'm working on vision, I'm getting it automatically. Otherwise, mm -hmm. upon giving these four roles, you'll be getting this icon on the supply chain planning. So that is required for VMI. Okay. So got it now. Fine. So you now again you create your EZ01 on your lab, on your line of business. Sure, sure. sure. Are creating the, same it? Way, the same way you can do it. Can you open up your uh, video? I'd like to see how you, smart you are now. You are married or unmarried? <laughs> married, married. Married. Uh, open up your video. I would like to see you. Oh, God. That's feeling. Uh, 
not feeling well now it would be good for them doesn't matter so uh, this this video will also be uploaded over there for people other people to whatever understand about how to create a supplier without any problem with that any other doubts for you no sir no sir i will be creating the supplier and then i'll be doing it okay watch this video then uh, you now watch it now fully fun so you now understand about clearly but how the, how to monitor the what happens the request number also Sure, sure. If the request is now going for approval to somebody, it will also say the submit below it. What happens? It will not coming as approval. It will be saying to whom it has gone. If you click on the hyperlink okay. on the request number, it will not show. So bye for now, and then we will meet on some other video. Bye. Bye, bye. Have a nice day. I will be uploading this video also into the drive. Sure, sure, sir. Sure, sure.